Your Katsu equipment offers four different modes. The first three are cycle related. The last one is the constant related. I'll explain all four. First one is the cycle mode. Second one is the progressive cycle mode. Third is the reverse cycle mode. The last one is the constant mode. The cut cycle mode should be used for 95% of what you're doing. Only in very limited uh, cases should you use the katsu constant mode, which I will explain later. The cycle mode is our signature patented feature. It is truly the, the core and the essence of what katsu is. What it is, is it's eight repetitions or eight steps of 30 seconds of pressure followed by five seconds of non-pressure. So the bands inflate for 30 seconds and then deflate for five seconds. 30 seconds on, five seconds off, repeated eight times. You can use it in the low, medium, or high pressure, or it can be customized to meet your needs. The main feature of this cycle mode is that each time that the bands are inflated, it actually incrementally increases in pressure. And this is the patent. This is the key feature of Katsu. So eight repetitions or eight steps, pressure on, pressure off for 30 seconds and five seconds off as it increases in pressure. This is your cycle mode. In 1973, Dr. Sato discovered how the Kat cycle mode benefits uh, the rehabilitation of injured muscle, bones, ligaments, tendons, and skin. This was the remarkable uh, advancement in the katsu evolution. The kat cycle mode is really profoundly simple, but it is profoundly effective. And that the reason why is that with every heartbeat, the elasticity of the vascular tissue increases. This is a catalyst for a robust hormonal response. And these are the two keys of katsu and the two very essential advantages of the kat cycle mode. The second mode is a progressive cycle. The progressive cycle is simply an extension of the kat cycle mode. So the kat cycle mode is eight repetitions, eight steps. The kat's progressive mode is much longer. It starts at a low pressure and increases to a higher pressure. And this is very safe and it's very comfortable. It's gentle. Katsu does not need to hurt. It should not hurt. It should not feel uncomfortable. It should feel very comfortable and it is gentle. So we start off always in the low pressure and gradually, very incrementally, we increase to a higher pressure. So the Kat cycle mode is our standard. You could use that for everything. The progressive cycle mode, you can use for warm-ups, you could use for recovery after a vigorous workout or an intense competition. You can also use it for uh, jet lag mitigation. So in other words, before you get on an airplane or after you get on, out of an airplane, use the progressive cycle mode. It's very gentle, but it's gradual increase in pressure is extremely effective. You can also use it after work or after a day of hiking, uh, any time that you are putting your mind or body under extreme stress, use the progressive cycle mode. Starts off low and ends up higher. You can also use a progressive cycle mode at the end of a workout that you may be doing. For example, let's say you enjoy uh, strength training in a gym, or let's say you enjoy uh, a long bike ride, anything where it's a sustained um, duration of exercise. Use the progressive cycle mode at the end of that workout as a finisher, as really to, to culminate a great workout. The newest feature of our Katsu products is reverse cycle mode. This is the exact opposite of our cycle mode and our progressive cycle mode. In the case of the cycle mode and progressive cycle, we start off at a low pressure and we increase incrementally to a higher pressure. In the reverse cycle mode, we start off at a higher pressure and then we come down to a lower pressure. The only time you should really use this is after a, a long hike, 
um, uh, a, an intense workout, um, a long cycle, you name it, and uh, a long bike ride. Anytime that you, your body and your vascular system has been stressed and exercised, then you can start off at a higher pressure and go to a lower pressure. So this is a post-workout, post-competition mode that a lot of competitive athletes will very much enjoy. Uh, one key point of the reverse cycle mode is prior to doing any reverse cycle mode, you should always do the cycle mode or the progressive cycle mode. So sort of think of it as a pyramid. Start off low, go to high, once you're at high, post-workout, then you can come low. So the Katsu Constant Mode previously had a lot of attention in the BFR market. We use Katsu Constant in only limited situations. And that is when you're doing some complex movement, it could be something like a golf swing, a baseball swing, throwing a, a baseball, throwing a football, kicking a soccer ball, or some very complex movement that you're doing with a physical therapist where the tubes could get in the way. It's a very limited amount of movement or exercise where you can get a, a lot of blood in a limb for a limited period of time. What is that limitation? Anywhere from five to 10 minutes max. You can also use the Katsu constant mode in limited situations when you're in the water. You could be doing aqua therapy or you could be practicing anything from a racing start to a swimming um, technique. In these cases, you always need to do the cut cycle before you get in the water, always 100% time. And then you can inflate the band to a certain pressure and use katsu in the water for a very limited period of time. The katsu controllers are not waterproof. The katsu bands are. So you could put the bands in the water and do various forms of katsu aqua. The katsu aqua does not work with our B series. Katsu aqua only works with the connected bands that we have in our C series, the C3 or the C4. To do Katz Aqua in the C series, the C3 or the C4 product, you inflate the bands to a certain level, then you disconnect the tubes from the bands and then you can enter the water. It is very important to note that when you use Katsu in the water, you should inflate to about 50% of what you use on land. So always use a lower pressure in the water than you do on dry land. Katz Aqua also should be limited in time, just like in the dry land constant mode, no more than five to 10 minutes maximum. Uh, there is one major misunderstanding in that the Katsu constant mode, where you just have the bands inflated to a set pressure and you're exercising, many people think this is the optimal use of Katsu. That is absolutely false. The optimal use of Katsu is actually in our cycle mode, where you have a variable pressure either going up or down. This is really the essence of Katsu. You want your vascular tissue to expand very incrementally. This is very gentle on the body, and more importantly, it is actually safe and highly effective. This is how Katsu remains the gold standard of the BFR market. Thank you very much for your interest in use of Katsu. I hope you will enjoy the various uses and multiple kinds of applications you can use with our Katsu cycle mode, progressive cycle mode, reverse cycle mode, and in some limited cases, the constant mode. So thank you very much.